downtown brother who lived on the south side of Chicago didn't have no money but damn he was funny whenever he called I dreamed he was the right one bam bam bam, bam. what you say to me bitch <laughs> the day you pawned my head into the television screen Neon lights blared, but it wasn't no Chicago musical. The first Prince of Bel-Air was on. You know, the episode when Will cried, how come he don't want me? And Uncle Phil cradled his body as though he were his own son. Mother Africa no longer plays mother or father to little lost brown boys kidnapped by founding fathers who never fostered their sons as tightly as Uncle Phil. And women lose blood as stand-ins for white men when black men lash out. That day, you wipe the vodka from your lips, lit up a new port in our bathroom, and scramble for condoms beneath the mattress you swore you loved me on. <laughs> your father never taught you to use. But I lay there, almost lifeless, thinking. I only said that I was tired of watching Chicago musicals in the confines of the South Side Shack, discussing Miles Davis and the electric guitar, too afraid to become the instruments of revolution, tired of fighting for the attention of a man who never sees the warrior bruises on a body he makes love to at night. creeps into your psyche. You remember the power Master felt when he ruptured the hymens of your sisters. You crave that blood of conquest. Our screams were an insult to your manhood. Muzzled like a poop beast, you watch the sound of fathers shove themselves into your sisters. A sound a bit more pleading than silence fled from our lips. You shamefully sob. You bitch. I can't save you and you know it. yourself into spaces too small to accommodate you, into a hole too tiny but you force harder. I scream, you scream louder, take it, take it, bitch, I've seen you take it before. But like the pinstripes on your corporate downtown brother's suit, your blackness is a slender stripe in America. Your tie is the neutral noose you dangle from each time you force your fist to my face, too afraid to face America. Tell him, tell America, I am your son. And I'm still curious how you throw that ball, Dad. <laughs>